This is Istanbul, Turkey, known for its rich culture, stunning scenery, and magnificent structures. It's one of the oldest cities in the world, more than 2,600 years old. Each year, Istanbul hosts more than 15 million visitors and tourists. When in Istanbul, visitors often enjoy its breathtaking views, vibrant nightlife, and incredible food. It's been a destination that I've wanted to visit for a long, long time. This is Nesleon, the company she works for, MLP Care, offered to fly me there to experience one of their incredible hospitals. This was an opportunity I could not pass up, so I got on a plane and flew over 6,000 miles to Istanbul, Turkey. This was my experience. So this is the VM Medical Park where I would be spending the week at um, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful hospital in Istanbul, Turkey. This is Merdan, and I'm probably going to say everyone's name wrong, but I'm trying my hardest. Um, he was kind of in charge at the, uh, at the hospital of um, the procedure and showing everything that I would be doing. Um, he was very, very helpful. So um, in this video, you're just going to follow along vlog style uh, of my experience. So when I got there, we decided that I would do the executive mail checkup package. Um, and basically what that is, is it is an in-depth, thorough checkup that they would do here. So um, that folder that he's holding are my medical records and kind of a list of everything that we would be doing that week. Um, so the first thing that we did is uh, we went into the sampling collection area of the hospital. Uh, as you can see, pretty busy there, um, but everyone was super nice. So uh, first thing that we did here is a blood test. And so obviously I'm not going to show that. I don't want to trigger anybody, but um, this hospital that I'm at is also a university hospital, which is really cool. And outside of cosmetic surgeries, they're even able to do kidney transplants, liver transplants, oncology surgeries, orthopedics, and even robotic surgery. So it is a full service hospital, which is really cool. Yeah, they're taking my blood right now. Give it a little thumbs up. Everything's good. Uh, and there we go. That easy. Everyone was extremely nice. I felt safe there. Um, after I got my blood drawn, uh, we're going to go to the next place. Um, and that is uh, Nesleon on the right and Zenem on the left. Um, Nesleon is a friend of mine's sister who lives in Istanbul. And she is the reason I was here uh, because she works uh, in marketing for um, MLP Care. So, and Sinem, um, who you'll see in a minute, uh, is is a translator at the hospital, and she was so nice and sweet. Um, so here, he's basically saying, hey, we need a urine sample. <laughs> so that's why they added me uh, these empty um, tubes. So, uh, next, we're getting in the elevator here, and uh, we are walking to the next section of the hospital for the next test, which was x-rays, as you can see right there. So um, now we're just kind of outside the uh, outside the room, waiting for the room to be available for x-rays, 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 x-rays. There we go. So now we're walking into the room to get x-rays. And the cool thing about this was that, uh, as you can see, uh, we had permission to film and normally, you know, you're not supposed to film in a hospital, but they were really cool about it and nice. And they allowed us to film as much as we wanted to try to give you guys uh, the experience. So that is a giant uh, x-ray machine. So they wanted to get, uh, I, I believe right here, we did just x-rays. So uh, after the x-rays, we are now just kind of walking around the hospital to the next section. We did quite a bit of testing um, in one day. This, 
right there in Moment, um, who in the jacket right there, and um, he was also just helping out with uh, at the hospital, making sure everything is going smoothly. Very kind. Um, he he had a very nice welcome for us and made us feel at home. So we are now just getting into the elevator here and going up. The next test and section of the hospital is on the ophthalmology section of the checkup, which is the eyes. So um, we would be doing uh, a, a lot of eye, eye and vision tests here. So uh, that's me handing my cameraman and assistant my passport so I don't lose it and get stuck. As you can see, everyone is just working really, really hard to make sure everything goes smoothly. This is Neslium and Iram um, just kind of talking and going over what is next because um, they basically scheduled this whole thing for me at the hospital. Um, and this is Nestle basically explaining what we're doing next. Um, Nestle uh, is is super nice and her English is excellent, so it was it was really easy. So. Uh, now we're at the ophthalmologist, and basically this machine uh, was a vision test, a vision test, vision test, um, and uh, it actually turns out that I have uh, excellent uh, vision, which is really, really good. So uh, this was about a five to ten minute test, and basically she was just taking pictures of my eyes there. As you can tell, Nesleon and Zenem were uh, really supportive and uh, were in the room and stayed with me for uh, most of the tests. <laughs> so, um, okay, so now I'm going to slide over to a different machine here. And this one is also testing the eyes, but this one really uh, was interesting because it, it actually, you'll see my reaction here in a second, but it actually blows um, a little bit of air into my eyes, which is why we're laughing, because um, I knew it was coming, and I still, like, <laughs> it was very uh, 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 scary. I have a thing with eyes, um, so I'm always scared of getting things in my eyes, but here they blow just a little puff of air into my, <laughs> you can see it right there, um, but um, even though it was slightly uh, uh, weird for me personally, just getting air in my eyes, everyone super nice and of course anything I told Nestle on she would translate um, to the doctors and physicians which was really really nice so um, and 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 the same with Sina she was also there and very helpful so this is a vision test I'm sure you've seen this in ASMR and uh, there were just letters up on the screen and he would just ask me to read the lines of, of them and uh, and close one eye or the other so yeah, uh, this is some more eye test stuff. Uh, we're just kind of sitting waiting, and uh, he's kind of looking at all of my results. Um, one thing that was really cool about about what we did here is um, after each test, I got to sit down with the actual doctor, and they would look at how everything went and kind of give me a report, which was super nice. And of course, I had these three lovely uh, ladies um, helping me out the entire time. I, I, I had such a good time here. The most eye-opening thing about being here at this hospital in Istanbul, Turkey was um, just how accessible, it's so much more accessible in Turkey uh, at MLP Care than it is here in the United States. Um, it's easier, faster. The prices, especially for America, uh, for uh, specifically cosmetic surgery, are very, 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 very expensive. And um, so part of this experience was to show uh, people in America, aka you, um, just how incredible these uh, hospitals are and how accessible they are in Turkey. So if um, you're thinking about getting any kind of cosmetic surgery, like a nose job or um, anything cosmetic, um, definitely check out MLB Care, um, mainly on Instagram, which is at international you this place is amazing and it is so much more accessible than it is in the United States. There are 31 branches in Turkey um, and my experience was 
that they are all expert physicians. Uh, they are super nice and super helpful, especially because it's in another country, but everyone was super helpful. Like right here with Sinem, she um, would translate so much for me. And honestly, most of the physicians uh, knew pretty good English, so that was very comforting as well. Uh, this, this was so funny, actually. This is a, kind of a funny um, lunch break here. So this is just Nestle on and I uh, talking, and we're sitting outside in this cafe in the hotel, and I thought we were on break. It was like, you know, 1 p.m. I thought we were like, okay, let's take a break. Let's get something to drink. It was very warm there. And so look, and CNM's like, here's some water, which I loved. And I was like, oh, thank you. So I thought we were just on break. <laughs> so it turns out we actually went out here and they brought all this water because they were waiting on me to do a urine sample. <laughs> so they came back a couple times and they're like, hey, did you drink the water yet? Did you drink the water yet? Because they were waiting for me to need to do that to give them a urine sample. <laughs> so after I found that out, I started chugging water like this because I was like, oh, I don't, I don't want to make people wait. So um, just chugged all of this water uh, <laughs> in order for them uh, to get a, to get a urine sample. But that was really funny because the whole time I thought we were just on break. <laughs> Um, okay, so this was a lovely, lovely harp player who was just in the lobby and really set the mood, really calmed you down, which is, uh, I think, something very important um, to, right when you come in to, to hear some calming music before you go into a hospital. Um, okay, so again, uh, uh, CNET, Adam, and Neslian and I are just walking through the halls of the hospital. so clean and beautiful and nice uh, which was really really helpful so the next thing we're going to is radiology 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 and so they were like okay we're ready for you so walked in here and um, I didn't uh, we didn't take footage of this just because I had to not be wearing clothes there but uh, basically they did sound of my almost my whole body they did like kidney abdomen liver everything uh, that's me saying all right I'll go give you a urine sample <laughs> um, but yeah the the radiology um, part was really interesting um, and uh, you know they covered me with the gel and 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 did an ultrasound uh, which was very interesting and I've never gotten that done before so I was very grateful to be able to do that here Okay, so, uh, yeah, more walking, and, and I, I got a lot of this footage walking through the hospital just to show you guys the kind of POV experience of how nice this place was, um, and it, it really was, the whole time I felt safe, I felt clean, I felt sterile, um, everyone was super nice there. Alright, so, now we are going to a different section of the hospital for the next part of the exam. And again, as you can tell, I had Nestle on and seen up with me the whole time, which um, was very, very helpful, not just for the language barrier, but also, you know, just making me feel calm and comfortable there. So the next thing here is we are, um, we are walking in here to talk to a nutritionist. And basically, um, she took all of my vitals and everything, and we sat down and figured out uh, if I need to make any changes in in, um, in diet and exercise and all that kind of stuff. So there, I'm, I'm, it looks like I'm skiing almost, but um, she's taking uh, a lot of my vitals um, there, right? And then we just kind of sat down and had a good talk with her, and she was so nice, um, just unbelievable nice and kind and explained uh, basically that I, I am deficient in, in vitamin D3 so uh, I just need to get more vitamin D but um, she was extremely nice look at Nestle on taking care of business on the phone you love to see it <laughs> uh, okay so anyway
walking through this, uh, walking through the the hospital even more. Uh, and you see the VM up there. You gotta love that. The VM Medical Park. VM Medical Park. So uh, back down to the lobby of the hospital here. So this is me just kind of standing there and being like, all right, what, what are we doing next? And they're all kind of figuring out the schedule because not only were they translating for me, they were also talking with the hospital and figuring out, you know, scheduling and, and what I can do next. So um, this is Nestle on saying basically uh, a lot of the stuff we will do tomorrow. So right now what we're going to do is um, just go back to the cafe right here, which was called Robert's Cafe. So, all right, that is beautiful Istanbul right there. And on to day two, day two of the executive mail checkup package at MLP Care. So, uh, we met up at the coffee shop again, and this today I am with Sinem and Iram, um, and uh, they both have my papers there. Um, they were both extremely nice, uh, just the two nicest people very smart and professional as well so that was really nice so so next we're going to cardiology cardiology and this was probably the most fun out of all of this so this is the cardiac stress test so basically the first thing we did was I took off my shirt there don't demonetize me <laughs> uh, and basically I got hooked up to a bunch of uh, sensors all over my body got on the treadmill um, and shout out to the medical park there there you go uh, again very clean very safe uh, but we got on the treadmill and we did about uh, they're, they're like hooking me up into things there and then we got on the treadmill and it was about a 15 minute uh, walk and run on the treadmill uh, where they would uh, monitor my all of my cardio so there we're kind of walking at an incline and we would get into a run and then walk and run and walk. And they were just kind of uh, uh, watching my heart rate and how my heart uh, would react to um, different speeds and different inclines. So um, honestly, it, was, it, it wasn't as bad as I thought it would be, but I was definitely winded at the end because test which was fun all right so now they're saying all right you're gonna take your shirt off here again and you're gonna lay down and we're gonna have another doctor come in for echocardiograph and uh, this is emra dr emra who is super nice as you can tell super friendly and uh basically i laid down and he did that's my heart right there and so we were listening to uh, my heart and blood flow and everything was perfectly fine and he was super nice we actually took a picture uh, together he was like hey you want to take a picture together for instagram <laughs> i was like yeah sure uh super nice so shout out to emra as well so that's me saying all right everything's looking good cnm is saying okay here's what we have left um out of all of the tests and again our english was fantastic and if you go to uh any of the mlp care medical parks you'll have people like cnm who are super sweet and helpful and and whose english is are, is great and who can translate and kind of walk you through every step um, i would have been lost without those two people right there and nestle on so next is the urology urology so this is dr Usain Usain, and um he was also super nice so basically what he's doing here is he is looking at um all of my test results here um, and kind of going over anything that he thought might need to be looked at anymore which um, he didn't really find anything that needed any further instruction which was you know honestly a, a huge relief um, in america these tests all of these tests would have been thousands of dollars and so i'm very lucky to be able to get these 
these tests here at uh, at the uh, medical park. Um, so, yeah, very lucky to be able to do this and honestly get tested. I, you know, I think it's it's very important for for us to stay up on all of that and make sure we're all good. So, um, okay, back in the elevator with Zenim and Iram. Um, and they're, again, just kind of going over scheduling, and I'm just listening. <laughs> There's me getting some hand sanitizer. Okay, so now they're just kind of, again, looking at everything, making sure scheduling is all good. So we're going to walk. So we're going to go to the thoracic uh, section of the hospital, and here um, basically is uh, we're talking to a physician here. And this was um, Dr. Dadia, Dadia, and she was also so nice. So basically, she is a, a physician there. We are um, talking about everything, so all of the tests that I've taken. Um, and so she's looking at uh, all of the results from the radiology, the cardiology, the blood tests, the ultrasounds, the urine tests, the thyroid tests, um, everything that we did here. Um, she's going through the results and kind of talking me through it, and that's me going, yep, I, okay, thank you, thank you, thank you, yes, yes. Um, she was extremely nice, and honestly, her English was really, really, really good, so we didn't even need a translator here, so that was also really awesome. Um, but yeah, basically, this was kind of the end of, um, of the tests, where they're just kind of going over you know, going over everything that we had gone over and kind of talking about all the results. Uh, but super informative, and she was uh, she was fantastic. A uh, really great way to end this uh, experience. So last thing, we go over here, and she was like, okay, let's just do some final checkups. So she's doing heart here, as you can see, and taking some deep breaths.
address um, and you can reach out to them uh, to get a second medical opinion quickly. I highly suggest them. I give them an A+. They are all extremely professional. This experience was perfect and exactly what I uh, felt comfortable with. So definitely check them out and contact them there. Thank you so much for watching this. I hope you loved this style of video. I had such a good time here and I'm happy to report I am perfectly healthy and nothing was found. <laughs> uh, but uh, lastly, huge thank you to Nestle Han uh, for making this possible. She is the greatest and um, I wouldn't have been here without her. So thank you. Also thank you to Iana and CNAM for uh, helping me so much at the hospital with translation and schedule and everything. Um, and also all of the doctors.